Here is where we will always belong, where we can be ourselves and where we can learn to think of the world beyond ourselves. Here, we explore, question, challenge, discover, and are encouraged to ask what if and why not. Here, we are reminded that these are questions for a lifetime. Here is where we become the people we are meant to be. My introduction to Carthage was the summer of 1941. Uh, in 2014. To 1976. I was only 18 at the time. Went on my own, but it was quite an experience. Wonderful experience. In my household, college wasn't really spoken of. And my parents were not anxious for me to go too far away from home. Carthage helped me and supported me welcomed me and valued me. They really understood my goal and my purpose and the reason why I came to this campus. And everyone was like family. Here we are students of what is good, purposeful and worthwhile. Here our voices grow clear and strong. We learn to raise our voices to bring positive change into the wider world. Here we are a part of a community that rises to meet what must be done. We are a community of doers who can say, we did it. At Carthage, I definitely um, went on a journey of discovering what was womanhood. Carthage women, they don't mind finding a seat at the table and going for what they want. My experience here at Carthage really helped me be ahead of the curve. I, I truly felt that when I sat in a room with people that were unbelievably smart professionals, I didn't feel intimidated. When I came here, I decided to look for some mentors of colleagues that I saw being effective both in the classroom and in the community. And so I tried to look at what they did at Carthage and I tried to emulate and structure my career around them as role models. Carthage has taught me to not be afraid to try something new, to go outside my comfort zone. When I came on the tour, I met uh, Ruth Meyer. Uh, she was one of our social work professors that passed away. When I met her, she said, why are you holding yourself back? There's something about you, and the world has to know who you are. She had this sassiness to it of, girl, you better get out of your own way. It, it has everything to do with the people here. Working at Carthage, I had the opportunity to counsel in the office, you know. Many students, they would go ahead and do things that they thought they couldn't do. Carthage unearthed potential in me that I didn't even know was there. We are here because of those who came before. A long procession of Carthage women. Women who welcomed the frontier's wide horizons. Women who went to work in their homes, towns, cities, and churches, in schools and in hospitals, in industry and in laboratories, in wartime and in peace. They pushed boundaries. They prevailed. We are here because of their stories. There's a different story in every person. Not a lot of us women in the program. There were six women that graduated with me with a business administration major. I finished my degree at night school while I was working full time. And I never thought that would be possible. I did it. I'm very proud of myself for that. It took me 16 years and five children later to earn that bachelor's degree. Having a Carthage education, especially as a woman, shows that you're dedicated to those around you. You can't be at Carthage without learning how to serve others. It's something that is in our motto and everyone learns to give back to the community. It's all about the people. It was the people at Carthage who valued me, who showed an interest in my interests, whether it was music, golf course, it was in the biology lab or the education classroom. They helped to shape my understanding of what it meant to be part of a larger community build relationships, and once you have those positive relationships and others know that you care personally about them, anything can happen. The world has become such a global village and it's important for us to learn to relate to one another. I think it just made it so wonderful and so warm for somebody like me who came all the way from Kenya to the United States for the first time. There is more that's expected of us as Carthaginians. We're just not here to come and get an education, but how can we use that education to make the world a better place? Carthage can prepare you for it and equip you for it and give you not just the right training, but the right 
mindset. What's next? What's next? What's next? So we definitely challenge this norm by helping women find our mark, find our voice, and find what makes us utterly unique. The sky is not the limit. We believe that we can push and go beyond the sky. Break boundaries, shatter ceilings. It is my hope that every woman that comes through these doors discover herself. That they leave here expecting to have a level playing field. Appreciate all the opportunities that might come their way. Be empowered and strong. As a Carthage woman, there's a drive in us to go beyond the borders, to go beyond the boundaries, be it in business, be it in politics, be it in uh, public service. They've always gone above and beyond. They've made a difference in the communities that they come from. We must continue the legacy of empowering women at Carthage. Women can accomplish anything if they set their minds to it. My goal is to help them become the best person they can be because that's what the women at Carthage have done for me. What would the first women of Carthage think today if they walked here in this place of serene beauty? I think they would say, be glad you are here and make it your own. I think they would say, this is your time. This is your place. They would be right. So we honor them by reaching higher than we've reached before. The sky is not our limit. We too look to new horizons because we are. We. 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 Because we are Carthage women.